So uh, Sonium is a layer two blockchain developed in collaboration between Sony Block Solutions Labs and Asta Network, aimed at building a new ecosystem for creator and fan communities in Web3 era. So we are having Watanabe, the co-founder of Sonium and the founder of Asta Network. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much for having me today. I'm so excited to share the vision uh -huh. of the product. Okay, so yeah. could you briefly share about yourself and the Sonium and Asta? Okay, uh, my name is Sota Watanabe and the founder of Asta. And we started Asta back in 2019. And uh, we created a Starter Lab. Starter Lab is the company behind Asta. And the Starter Lab is the company, and we got the investment from Sony Group and Samsung Next and the UOB. UOB is one of the three largest banks in, in Singapore. And uh, we created a joint venture between Sony Group. It, it is called the Sony Block Solution Lab. And the Sony Block Solution Lab deployed uh, the brand of Sony, which is the ECDM Red. And, uh, uh, we're going to join Superchain because uh, it is built by OpiStack. Uh, and uh, yeah, we launched a testnet. And uh, I, I'm really excited to see a lot of the projects uh, building on the top of Sonium. And uh, we also announced Asta Evolution. Asta Evolution has two phases. And the first phase is the transition from Asta ZK EVM to Sonium. And the phase two is coming, but uh, we cannot disclose the information just yet. It's, it's kind of long-term plan. We created a long-term plan by using one year. And then we are now in execution phase. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay. So what inspired you to create the Sonium project? So what yeah. problems are like it, it is way of aiming to solve and yeah. what is the core vision behind the project? Yeah, uh, our vision is to make to realize the open internet that transcend boundaries. There are a lot of the boundaries in a society, such as Web2 versus Web3, uh, crypto versus real world, uh, you know, decentralization and the regulation and these kind of the things, right? So Sonium is in a unique position because this is the collaboration between Startel, who has been developing Asta, and the Sony Group. Sony Group is a Web2 company, and uh, we are the Web3 specialist. So it's pretty unique, right? And uh, only 3%, of less than 3% of the people are using blockchain today. But uh, when it comes to internet, everybody, literally everybody is using internet without knowing the uh, you know, back end of the internet, like a TCP, IP, HTTP, Ethernet, and this kind of the protocol. So I would like to, and we would like to make the wall where people are using Web3 in their daily lives without knowing Web3. So uh, this is very critical step to go mainstream. Mm -hmm. So one of the core value for us is go mainstream, mm -hmm. the GM. GM stands for good morning, uh, which represent the underground culture of the Web3. But after Sony, we go mainstream beyond Web3 to onboard a billion of the people. I think Sony is one of the biggest company which has a lot of the user touch points mm -hmm. in gaming, uh, movie, uh, music, and our finance, and even more. So we would like to penetrate Web3 technology in their daily lives. And we are creating some of the use cases right now. It's kind of a long-term project, step by step. But uh, hopefully we can bring new, a lot of the people beyond Web3. Okay, so let's talk about creator and fan yeah. communities. So. Sonium aims to create a Web3 environment for creators and fan communities. Yeah. So could you elaborate on the specific um, problems Sonium addresses and the changes it hopes to bring? Yeah, uh, this is my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now, let's say in music, in a movie, I think loyalty distribution is pretty much black box, right? And uh, people does not know. Only a uh, only, uh, operating company know how the money flow. So this is pretty much black box. But let's say if we could register, if I can register IP, intellectual property, maybe music, movie, gaming, whatever, on chain, smart contract. And if you use my IP, you need to pay royalty. And then this will be automatically distributed through smart contract based on the usage, based on the distribution and so on. We can make fully transparent on-chain distribution, loyalty distribution program. 
a project on chain. So this is something we would like to do. And uh, uh, through my career from 2016, we made a lot of the mistakes and uh, we learned a lot. Yeah. A lot of the Web3 project starts from technology mm -hmm. and then try to find problems. Then there is no problem, right? Uh, if we follow the technical issue and take only technical issue, and uh, after that, people find people try to find the, the real world issue and the solution. This does not work. And we should start from real problem, like real problem in the music industry, real problem of a gaming industry, and so on. Then we should develop technology to solve issue. So this is something we would like to do. Uh, if we could leverage our distribution channel, mm -hmm. I think we are the, the company which has the largest user touch point. So we are speaking with a lot of the industry right now, music industry, movie industry, and so on. And we would like to use Web3 technology to solve real issue rather than fancy issue in a Web3 space. Yeah. Okay, so you've created um, some unique um, blockchain like yeah. Sonium. So what unique features does Sonium has um, that differentiate it from the blockchain solutions in the market? So can you share about the reason why you have to make the new one? Yeah. Um, I really respect the Sony as a company and Sony is such a big company. So we decided to uh match the the ecosystem and transition from Asta zk evm to sony and uh i think our unique point we have a several unique points the first worst one is the number of the potential customers beyond the web3 sony has literally billions of the users right and then ideally we could have the access to these kind of the people so our user base is pretty much different from uh existing web3 project but we're going to start from Web3 project, Web3 community. And after getting attention from the Web3 community, we're going to go mainstream. Mm -hmm. We go to the existing industry. So I think this is pretty much unique point. And the second one is a uh, distribution channel. Uh, I am a huge history fan, and I learned a lot from the internet history. So right now, less than 3% of the people are using blockchain and Web3 in their daily lives, right? Mm -hmm. So this is similar to akin to the internet in 1999 or 2000s. And at that, at that time, there was the age of Netscape versus Internet Explorer. And uh, Internet Explorer won. Yeah. The reason is Microsoft pre-installed IE, Internet Explorer, on their device. Then they got a lot of the share. It's, it's similar for us. Uh, you know, a lot of the project has been competing by trying to make faster finality, cheaper transaction, innovative consensus, and so on. But we are different. We secure the distribution channel first, and then we're gonna penetrate Web3 technology into existing pipeline. So this is something we would like to do. And uh, historically, I think this is the right approach. Yeah. So I understand that um, Astar token plays a significant yeah. role in the Sonium ecosystem, yeah. right? So could you explain its role and how it used within the ecosystem? Yeah, uh, so Asta is going to be one of the critical the token on the Sonium ecosystem, in the Sonium ecosystem. Mm -hmm. One of the way is uh, we already announced Sonium Spark, which is the incubation program, the first incubation program of Sonium. And uh, we are going to select roughly 30 project, and we're gonna incubate these kind of the native use case on Sonium. And uh, we have been working very closely. So we asked them to support Asta token as one of the preferred token. Then we can increase the utility of the Asta token on the top of Sonium. And uh, we are also working with Chainlink. And the Chainlink agreed to make CCIP. It's a bridge from Asta layer one to Sonium. So we can securely bridge a lot of the Asta token from Asta layer one to Sonium through CCIP. I think which is the one of the most secure solution, solution bridge solution in the, in the industry. So by, by doing so, we would like to decrease the number of Asta token on layer one, and the price is going to be determined by demand and the supply. Yeah. And we're going to decrease supply of the Asta layer one, I mean Asta token on Asta layer one, 
because there is there are more supply of us that are talking on Sonium, and then we would like to improve token economics step by step. So then what are the major goals in long-term vision for Sonium? Yeah. So could you share some of the development plans for this year and beyond? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> It's a kind of tricky, tricky question mm -hmm. because we kicked off this project actually 1.5 years ago. Oh, really? And uh, we checked almost all of the layer one and the layer two, and uh, we decided our strategy, I think, uh, three or four months ago after one year research, meaning we have a multiple option, mm -hmm. multiple way to take. So one of the things we would like to do is onboard Web3 people through Ethereum layer two. But in the long run, we have a multiple plan and we have a phase two. I think uh, next year, maybe quarter three or quarter four and uh, yeah, final 25. So we, but this information should not be disclosed yet. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we, we are going to focus on bringing Web3 people. But at the same time, I would say we have a long term plan. Uh, which can be very innovative. In addition to Sony and Asta Network, so Sonium collaborates with several partners, right? Yeah. So could you introduce some of the key partners in your ecosystem and their roles? Uh, yeah, uh, definitely Optimism Foundation is a very uh, great supporter for us. And uh, as I said, we had a 1.5 year preparation period. So a lot of the executive from multiple foundations and uh, multiple top companies came to Japan and uh, I introduced them to Sony executive at Sony HQ and we discussed a lot. And we have a launch partner including Chainlink, uh, Optimism Foundation, Circle, uh, Zagrab and Alchemy. And uh, we have been speaking with their CEO and CXO for a long time. And uh, I think infrastructure is pretty much important when we launch the chain. And uh, I think getting their support from day one means a lot to increase our legitimacy and to increase the usage of our network. And I'm really happy to be able to work with them, mm -hmm. especially Optimism Foundation, because they are pretty much strong supporter and our vision aligned. I think our industry, Web3 industry is a little bit stagnating because our pie is not getting bigger yeah still same people are using That's different pretty. blockchain right and uh you know one chain comes in and a lot of the liquidity comes and another blockchain is yeah, announced yeah. and then with point system liquidity comes from it to here, here to here and then another blockchain announced liquidity comes from to here yeah. to here it's kind of zero-sum game I don't, I don't want to say zero-sum game, but it's similar to zero-sum game right now. So we needed to increase the pie bigger by onboarding people who don't care about Web3. So this is something we would like to do. And one of the way is to integrate Web3 technology in their daily lives. Maybe through camera, that is Canon, but yeah, through uh, maybe you know, uh, phone, maybe through headphone to furniture, whatever. So we need this kind of a solution to make our pie bigger together. I, I, a lot of the people asked me, the, asked me that, who, who's gonna be the competitor mm -hmm. or something like that. But uh, our industry is still very, very small. So it's too small to compete. So we need to collaborate to make the pie bigger. Otherwise, all of us dies, right? <laughs> so, our mission is to, to realize the open internet that transcends boundaries. We would like to transcend the boundary of competition. Yeah. Then how about um, what significance does Korean market yeah. have for Sonium and Asta? <laughs> First of all, I think I, I, I really like Korean people. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel that Korean people is uh, my you know, brothers and sisters. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Because we share the culture. And uh, yeah, we, we know that there are a lot of the supporters of our project. Uh, sometimes Korean people are too direct. Yeah, compared to Japanese, <laughs> Yeah, compared right? to Japanese. It's okay. Uh, I feel a lot of the strong expectation. So we should focus on delivery. And I know that this is going to be a long term rather than short term. So I would like to 
focus on bringing the positive impact in a society and in this industry. And、uh, I think we are taking a light path right now.、Okay. That, speaking about history, like car, electric goods, even semiconductor, the seed, seed of the technology、uh, invented by Western c o u n t r y especially United States. And Asian c o u n t r y like Japan, Korea, Taiwan, and maybe China, and these kind of the country imported seed technology and、uh, commercialized it. And、uh, Asian people and the Asian c o m p a n y are good at commercialization, right? You guys have Japan has Sony, Toyota, and these kind of c o m p a n y Taiwan has TSMC. I think Asian c o m p a n y and Asian people are good at commercialization. And the Web3 industry needs commercialization right now. Otherwise, Web3 is going to be a toy for tech people or rich people. So, we needed to commercialize Web3 technology to let all people use Web3. This is something we would like to do. And I think this is our mission. And、uh, I think Korean people did the same thing. So, we are pretty much aligned. Okay. 最後の質問は日本語でしてみます。あ<笑>なんか、えっと、選抜したい、なんか一言、メッセージとかありますか。え、これ日本語でですか。日本語でいいです。そうですね、うん。日本語の質問の方が難しいかもしれない。<笑>やっぱり、やっぱりこの。まあ、批判もあるかもしれないですけれども。やっぱりウェブスリー。っていう技術が本当に社会のために使われているのかっていうのを考えたときに、そのクエスチョンマークが浮かぶ瞬間とかってやっぱりすごいあって、で僕が Web3 技術をやるの理由って、やっぱりエンパワーピーポーなんですよね。それは僕が大学生の時にいろんな国に行って、いろんなこう、まあ、プアピーポーだったりだとか、ウィークピーポーを見てきたから、技術でそういう人たちをエンパワーしたいっていう思いがやっぱりありますと。で、その中で、やっぱりまだこの Web3 の技術が、リッチピーポーだったりとか、まあテックピーポーだったりだとか、まあ一種マネーゲームみたいになっちゃってるところに関しては、まあ仕方ない部分はありつつも、ここで終わってはいけないと思っていて、で、やっぱり本当に日常生活の中で、いろんな人たちが当たり前に、使う Web3 を作れるかどうかっていうのが、本当に僕らの、この業界を左右すると思ってるんですよね。だから、それに対して、まあ、すごい、いろいろ僕も言われるんですよ。日本のコミュニティからも、韓国のコミュニティからも。でも、それに対して僕は責任感があるから、ちゃんと、まあ、結果を出す、プロダクトをデリバーする、ちゃんと社会を変えるっていうことに対して、こだわっていきたいというふうに思いますし、やっぱり、韓国と日本ってすごい似てて、カルチャーも似てるし、考え方も似てるし、やらな国際的にやらなくちゃいけないこともすごい似てるじゃないですか。そうです。でやっぱりアジアからちゃんと世界で通用するようなサービスだったりだとかプロダクトを作っていかなきゃいけないと思ってて、もう韓国だったら僕サムスンのことをめちゃくちゃリスペクトしてて、あのサムスンネクストもあの投資家で入ってもらってるんですけど、やっぱりなんかサムスンを通して韓国の良さをこうみんな、世界のみんなが使ってくれてるじゃないですか。だから、まあ、アジアの良さみたいなのを僕らのプラットフォームを通して、僕らの、伝えたいって。そう、伝えたいですね。で、僕らのプロダクトは日本のためじゃないし、韓国のためでもないし、アジアのためでもないし、そう、世界でやるっていうのはもう前提なんですけど、やっぱりなんか、アジア人としてグローバルで使われるものをちゃんと作りたいっていう、使命と責任感がありますね。かっこいいと思います。頑張ってください。Okay, so up until now, we had Sultan Watanabe from Stonium and Astar. Thank you for today's interview. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>